Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is part of the uh, experimental video series that I'm making. And in fact, this is a, actually an experimental audio uh, on this video. And But it, it has video indications here that I want to show. And what we're looking at here is the audio input capture on OBS software. And this is 23.1.0, and it's 64-bit windows. And uh, let me give you the setup here on what I'm doing to get the sound into the computer. I'm using my microphone. It's a dynamic microphone. It's the Shure. SM63LB. Now the LB at the end of that stands for uh, long handled as opposed to the shorter handle one and it's black instead of silver. So the Shure SM63 microphone and it's the long handled black version of it. That's what the LB is. And the microphone mixer, this is uh, connected to a microphone mixer through a microphone cable, an XLR to XLR microphone cable and it's the SCM268 microphone mixer. So it's a four input microphone mixer. The thing's like a little brick, it's almost bulletproof. Um, I love it and I use it for professional video uh, production constantly. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I, that's the only thing I use to get audio into my video camera is that SCM268 uh, microphone mixer. Now, how do I get it into my computer? Uh, normally, I take my Shure X2U and that's an XLR2 USB adapter and, I just, and it has phantom power built into it. And I plug that directly into my microphone and I plug that into my computer. So that's what I've been using lately. And for this test here though, I decided to take the microphone, run it through the microphone mixer because there's other electronics to help me even things out there. And then I was gonna take that and run it into, uh, you know, from the mixer to the computer with the X2U device. So that's what I've been doing with this. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying to make sure that my audio levels are okay. But you know, looking at this visual here on the audio input capture, this is ridiculous. Um, this is like totally unacceptable. And I'm really gonna have to depend on these little, the little black squares zipping back and forth um, as the peak indicators because the color, um, the color background is, is far off. It's crazy. But if I stop talking, the little black you know, dots go way down to the bottom. But, and as I'm talking, they're up to pretty much into where the yellow zone is, which is acceptable. That's pretty much where I expect them to be. But the color indications of green, yellow, and red are just off the wall. Uh, and that this you know, would be like I'm screaming at the top of my lungs at you. <laughs> um, but that's, you know, if I listen to the audio and I put this on YouTube, then that's not the case. In fact, the audio is perfectly fine uh, to me because I'm gonna listen to this whole thing a couple of times before I upload it anyway. But that's the experiment uh, using my dynamic SM63 LB microphone connected with an XL, uh, a microphone cable, XLR to XLR, to the Shure SCM268 microphone mixer, and then using the Shure X2U XLR to USB adapter to get the sound into my computer. So that's for this particular test. That's what this is all about, all right? So with that, don't forget, I'm gonna wrap that up at this point. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video. Uh, make a comment below. Let me know any comments or uh, questions you might have about this. And uh, if you haven't already, please uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate the growth on the network. And until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.